Today's video is going to be the first video of 2023 and I decided to do a guinea pig cage tour. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and let's go ahead and get started. I am first going to start over here with my skinny pig dip. Dip I got in September when my guinea pig ginger passed away in August. And next to Dip is actually going to be her partner, or was Ginger's partner, Willow. And this is the reason why they're in a 2x2, two two, is because I can't make it any bigger and they need to get used to each other. So I decided to put them like side by side and they seem to work out. And I'm actually planning on bonding them sometime this year. And I'm definitely going to film that. So yeah, that's just a little background about Dip and why they're in smaller cages. So now let's get started on the tour of Dip's cage. I am first going to start over here with the hay bag. So this hay bag is actually from Amazon and I love this one. There is actually a two pack for a certain amount of money, but I wanted three of them and the single pack was actually cheaper at the time, but I will link in the description down below in case anyone is interested in purchasing one, but I love this so much better and people were telling me to switch to hay bags because they know I've tried litter boxes and hay racks are bad for guinea pigs because many incidents have happened so my realization was that I needed to get something different and I finally figured it out and these hay bags are definitely a must with my guinea pigs and I love them and so do my guinea pigs. Moving on next to the hay bag I just have one of my DIY fleece forts. These are so easy to make and I also have a video that I made a while ago and I will link it in the i card above. Super duper easy and the guinea pigs love them. And just underneath the little fleece forest, I just have a snuggle sack. My guinea pigs will sometimes literally just lay on top of the snuggle sacks or go inside. I mean, whatever works, right? Moving down and under the snuggle sack, I just have one of these microfiber mats and these ones are from Target and these are the small ones which are $7. Moving on we have Dip's food bowl. I give Dip one fourth cup of the Oxbow Essentials adult guinea pig pellets and the reason why I give her more is because she is a skinny pig which means she burns more calories, so she needs to eat more. So if you want more detailed uh, video about skinny pigs, let me know and I'll definitely be happy to make a video like that. As well as two chew toys. And then over here we have her water bottle. This is the Glass Living World one and I believe the 12 ounce one as well. I am not going back to plastic water bottles. These ones are literally one of my favorite water bottles. So if you have guinea pigs and you don't have these water bottles, I suggest you just try them out because I love them. Moving over from the water bottle, I just have one of these hanging chew toys. Underneath the water bottle, I just have one of these guinea dad pee pads. As well as under the hay bag, I have one of my pee pads that I made. And for the fleece, I'm using the Midwest Guinea Pig Cage Liner from Guinea Dad. And it doesn't fit all the way, so there's a little piece of fleece on the edge, but you can't really see it because it's covered. Next up, we have Willow. So Willow's cage is pretty similar to Dip's cage. So I'm not going to go into too much detail about it, but she has a same water bottle. She has two chew toys. 
She has this hanging small play wall, I believe, from Oxbow, and that's when we got Wrangler. And then she also has her pellet bowl. I only gave her one eighth cup of pellets, but she's a pretty picky eater, so she doesn't really eat pellets like the others. And again, just like Dipped Cage, she has a fleece forest and a snuggle sack underneath, which she is lying on right at this moment. She has a microfiber mat, again from Target. She has a Guinea Dad pee pad and a pee pad that I made under the hay bag. And the fleece she is on is a cage liner that I made. And over here, again, I have the same exact hay bag as Dip. And now we are moving on to the last cage, which we have Wrangler and Angel. And their setup is, again, pretty similar. So we first have their hay bag with a pee pad underneath it along with a fleece forest and again a snuggle sack underneath it with the microfiber mat and just on top of the fleece forest i have my pet cube cam which this used to go on the wall but now it really doesn't stick anymore so for now it's just sitting here and i definitely have to find a place to put it because i can't see all the guinea pigs from this angle and again the guinea pigs have a few toys scattered along along with a jingly ball which the guinea pigs never chew on these plastic balls they honestly just love to toss them over here, I just have a tunnel that I made, and I absolutely love this pattern fleece, and this fleece, I believe, is from Walmart. On the opposite side of the fleece tunnel, I just have one of these wood bridges. And for the final part of the pig's cage, I just have a 1x2 pee pad that I made their water bottle which is the same living world water bottle and this is the bigger one i believe it's 24 ounces the guinea pigs have their stacking cups again i trust them with these because i've never seen them chew on them only play with them and then this oxbow house that hangs on the side of the cage along with their food dish So that is going to be it for today's video. Let me know in the comments below how you enjoyed this style or type of video and I will definitely be interested in making these in the future. Again, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys in the next one.